still watching for thunderstorm development over the next couple of days, and some could be on the strong side. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd with an on-demand storm tracker forecast. Southwest flow very strong today, and isolated thunderstorms are trying to form around 1 o'clock, but they should become a little bit more widespread as we go through the rest of the afternoon. So the thunderstorm outlook for Thursday afternoon, all the way over to the left on the severity scale in the green, that means a low risk, but that doesn't mean we won't see any strong to severe weather. There is a slight chance out there both this afternoon and again tomorrow afternoon, so watch for that. So let's give you the latest forecast modeling, and you can see there will be some scattered thunderstorms training through southern Beaverhead, Madison, Gallatin, Park counties by about 4 o'clock this afternoon, and that's where the majority of the thunderstorm activity should be, is east the Continental Divide. Now, as we dive into Friday morning, Butte picking up an early morning shower or thunderstorm and then it really fills in again east the divide stronger thunderstorms are possible east of interstate 15 tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening and then by saturday eh, we're in the clear there might be a little bit of an isolated pop-up mountain storm but i'm not going with a uh, high probability of thunderstorm activity so the forecast in general still has a chance for thunderstorms this afternoon and again friday afternoon for butte but hot and dry over the weekend and then we'll trim those numbers back slightly into early next week. For Bozeman, again, it's not a high probability, but there is a chance for some thunderstorms both Thursday and Friday. Hot and very dry over the weekend. Low to mid-90s are likely Saturday into Sunday. Dylan, a slight chance for storms on Friday afternoon, but hot and dry heading into the weekend. Looks mostly dry early next week. And West Yellowstone, again, a slight chance for thunderstorms Thursday and Friday afternoon, but hot and dry this weekend.